Hey guys, welcome to my channel QGTV33. That is Queen Goddess TV and I am Danielle. Just coming to you all just saying hey or whatever. Guess I'm going to do a hair update since I don't have anything else to say. As you can see, I got some new crochets in. So, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you what products I use. Hold on, let me get my little products box. Okay. All right. I just have a small little box of products because instead of spending a whole bunch of money, you know, and having a beauty supply store in my bathroom, I just try to pick up a few products when I need them. And if I like it, I'll buy it again. If I don't, then I'm not. So... Okay, I took out my crochets. Friday before last. I took them out and I put, what conditioner did I put in my hair? I can't remember what I put in my hair. I just put some conditioner, some type of moisturizing conditioner in my hair. I think it was, I think it was this. I think this is what I put in my hair. I can't remember. And again, it was Friday before last. I let, I took my crochets out and then I let my hair rest a week. Because it wasn't damaged or anything and I was really happy about that. And I took my time in detangling it and everything. And I only lost the hair that was shed. I didn't break any hair or, you know, mess up my progress. So... I put some conditioner in my hair, took the crochets out Friday, put conditioner in my hair, and I intended to detangle my hair that night, but I ended up falling asleep, which was a good thing because my hair was really matted. So while I slept, I had a shower cap on my head, and my um, hair was really able to absorb all of that moisturizer and really get into the matted areas. And so Saturday, what I did was just slowly, you know, separate the matted areas and I just finger comb through taking my time from roots to ends and just took my time and got all of the matted places unmatted and just detangled my hair with my fingers first getting as much shed hair as I could that way and then I um carefully detangled my hair with a wide tooth comb starting from the ends to the roots is what I meant to say um, and that was that. I rinsed that out. I rinsed that out and rinsed the conditioner out and I just cornrowed my hair and I left it at that. And then Sunday, I shampooed my hair. Um, and it was hot last week, so I didn't sit under the dryer. I just put conditioner in my hair for my pre-poo. And what I used for my pre-poo was this clear scalp and hair therapy. Um, Total Care Nourishing Daily Conditioner. Nourishing scalp for strong, beautiful hair. Nutrium 10. I really like this stuff. Um, I put that in my hair. I, I like this. Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist. Um, and... This, this is a staple of mine. Um, Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. This is my go-to protein. And this, love this stuff. It feels so good and it smells really good. Cream of Nature, Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioning Conditioner for Normal Hair with Certified Natural Ingredient. And mixed all of those things together, put that in my hair as my pre-poo. So a pre-poo is putting conditioner on dry hair because your hair, a dry sponge absorbs more than a wet sponge. So that's the theory behind that. So I put the conditioner and it makes a difference. Pre-pooing makes a huge difference. So um, does hot oil treatments. So um, Sunday though, I didn't do a hot oil treatment. I just did the pre-poo, put my shower cap on and just left my hair, um, left it in my hair for hours. Rinse that out, shampoo with this 
one time because one time is all you need it, it will strip your hair I will not be buying this again I do like that it's it does tingle this is do grow tingling grow shampoo um, says promote strong healthy growing hair vitamin and herb formula relieves helps relieve dry scalp helps remove flakes now I'll say this I won't buy it to use on my hair but as far as putting some in some warm water and soaking these crochets because that's how I wash them I just put some water um, in a basin or the sink and just uh, this is what I'll use because I bet this will get them cleaner than this shampoo because my god this will strip everything out of your hair so no I will not be using this on my hair again I'm just gonna stick to this and I don't like this so I, I need a nice shampoo I'm still looking for a nice shampoo um, this is weightless hydration coconut water shampoo OGX don't like it I got this and I have the conditioner will not be repurchasing either one they don't do anything there's nothing special about them at all and that conditioner isn't even as good as this so um yeah so I use these four things this 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 and this to pre poo and I shampooed my hair with this for the final time as it really stripped and um, then I put all of those conditioners in my hair again to deep condition and I just put a shower cap on left it in for hours rinse that out and then that was that for Sunday and I just corn rolled my hair um, what did I put in it I put this on it after I um, towel blotted it because I don't rub my hair you don't want to do that um, this is Cantu Shea Butter Natural for Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream. Defines, moisturizes, and strengthens, strand, mm, strengthens strands. No sulfates, silicones, parabens, or mineral oils. So that's a good thing. So, put this on my hair. And some hair food by Salon Pro that's in the bathroom. Let me go and grab that so you can see that. Okay. All right. This is Salon Pro Argon Oil Formula from Morocco Hair Food, Hair and Scalp Nourishment. Um, I just have it in this bottle. But what's in here is Jamaican black castor oil. It's just not this brand. It's not this DNA brand. I just have it in this bottle because of the nozzle. It's African Pride brand oil. And it's a mixture of oils. And I like putting this in my hair too when I have the crochets. Luster's UB Natural Botanical Curl Moisturizing and Defining Spray for Curly and Wavy Hairstyles. Potent blend of Argon and Extra Virgin Olive Oils. Moisturizes, dry and brittle curls, defines and softens curls. So those are my hair products. And um, I just got the hair food. So what I've been doing is putting a mixture of oils. Um, it's been African Pride, Jamaican Black Castor Oil, Argon Oil. And... I can't think of the other oil. It's another oil that I had mixed in there. Um, that that's what I just oil my scalp with. I just you know go through my parts of my cornrows, whether I just have my hair cornrowed, you know, um, to wear under a wig, or I'm this cornrowed to put in some crochets. Um, and then once my crochets are installed, you know, I put that oil in my hair, and now I've been doing the hair food too, and also for my crochets and on my natural hair when I you know don't have any weave in. Um, I like that Luster's UV Natural. It's a very light, milky kind of sp um, spray. Because it is a spray. It's not really thick at all. But it's creamy, but it's watery at the same time. So, if it was a lotion, you'd be pissed. It'd be the exact consistency of cheap, cheap-ass lotion. That's what it is. Um, but for your hair, for moisturizing, it's great. So, that's what I do. Um, several weeks into... Um, my crochets or when whenever it starts to really get dry you know and 
the weave has started to really, you know, do up its absorption thing and your hair is getting dry, your natural hair is getting dry. I'll spray that in each part and then I'll do the oil, just the regular oil, not the hair food, because the hair food, I wish I had looked at the ingredient. The first fucking ingredient is petroleum and that's what it comes out as is like, you know, um, a squeezable petroleum, but it's got some extra stuff in it so it's not quite like you know little squeezable Vaseline it's not you know that thick but it it's not oil either you know what I'm saying it is not gonna just run immediately it's got some substance it's got it's quite viscous it's viscous enough to not be runny but it's not so thick as other petroleum products you know so um we'll see how it is because I just started using it um, and I, I've only used it once since these have been in and probably once or twice during the week that I was giving my hair a rest so that was Sunday did that and then Saturday that Saturday so just a few days ago um, I put this in and so I did a pre poo with the conditioners I showed you in addition um, with also this um, Garnier Fructis fortifying conditioner length and strength now it works but the smell isn't that good so I really I, I wouldn't repurchase it I already have my go-to conditioner for protein that smells really good so no but it does work if you like some you might like this smell you might not be like me um, this smell might appeal to you, but I put I threw that in there because I'm trying to get rid of it. It's almost gone. So I did that as a pre-poo, and I sat under the dryer for like 15 minutes, rinsed that out, shampooed with this, um, rinsed that out, and then I did a deep conditioner with all of those conditioners, and I threw this in there too, trying to get rid of it, and sat under the sat under the dryer for a deep condition for like 15 minutes, rinsed that out, and then I did a hot oil treatment with um the jamaican black cast oil and it probably has some of this in it too because i like to get these little dollar oils too and i'll squeeze them now i mix oils so um i put the oil in my hair after you know, i'll heat up some water for like two minutes in the microwave put the oil in there um put the hot oil in my head and put the plastic cap oil and sit under the dryer for like five minutes and then rinse it out you're not really rinsing any i mean it's oil but i, I still rinse a little bit to get some so it's not so oily and then I sat under the dryer and just you know let my hair dry some corn rode it and boom here are my crochets and um, after I all corn roll my hair I always oil my scalp after I corn roll it and sew my braid down I always oil my scalp so I use the hair food then and then I installed my crochets and so they've been in for us. I put them in Saturday, so two days. It's just two days old, and I haven't put any um, gel or edge control or anything. I'm gonna hold off so it won't be so much product build up because that's what all of that matting was. It was product build up, and I started putting edge control and gel on my edges pretty early in the game which is what I usually don't do I usually try to wait at least two weeks before starting to put any gel you know um, and that's what I'm going to continue to do and I'll try to hold off for as long as I can because uh, my hair's my nape has grown my hair grew about an inch so my nape area has grown to the point where my cornrow stays in more securely and I've been adding braiding hair in to that cornrow when I cornrow so it's been staying in and I've been able to keep my hair in for six weeks so that's what I'm going to be doing from now on and that's my little routine that's what I did um that's my little product show and tell and thanks for watching that's all bye